Good morning Australia. This is Chris. I've been a tiler for 35 years and I'd like to show you the beginnings of another bathroom. I'll just turn the camera around. Right, what we've got here is yesterday I did the waterproofing. So we've waterproofed everything. Floor, walls, the whole caboodle. Everything. So now the second day I'm doing the shower and the but the the whole bathroom floor. This is a floor that's got no step up, it's all going to be flush. The way I screed them is the way I've shown you before, but it takes a little while to learn. I haven't glued these down yet. I'll be cutting these ones shortly, but I want to show you the beginning, how we've got there. So this is all level. That aluminium is stuck to the floor. It's not level, so you get your mud. Your tiles are always level. See the fall there? It's going to the waist. It's level there, but it's falling there. And then it's level again there. So that is the way you always screen a shower floor and you never have any problems with large format tiles. Now I've mitered all these so I get a nice joint like that. So it just looks like uh, there's no aluminium there, you, you don't see that. The glass screen will be coming out to here, roughly, and you walk into your shower there and turn on the turn on the taps. Here we go. Right, go the direction, go the direction, your lines in the glue, go the direction of your shower, like so. I need some uh, clips. Right here. Here we go. Just take a little bit of excess water off. There's only one way to tile a shower and that is it. Your fall goes down the middle and across there like that. It does not go from that corner down to there because that's where you get a hollow spot. You always fall it from there, which is level. Across there is level. You're falling it down to your waist there.
See that mitre there? I'll show you the reason for it in a sec. This one is the other piece joining on to there, so it makes it a full tile because everything comes up off your lines. It's a white tile, but the same, same so exactly the same size, and it's a six by six. That up there is going to be a feature wall, the same as the floor tile. Why I've mitered this is because it goes together nicely like that and it's just a seamless floor beautiful and flat you have your doorway here and a glass screen there beautiful That's a bit. How's your father? Throw that away. When wet bedding is done properly, it lasts forever and ever and ever and ever. My customers are excited already. They can see what it's going to turn out like. Because I was uh, telling you before, they haven't had a very happy experience with, with their ensuite. into place I just raise my waist up a tad shortly I'll pop this one in and then I've got to cut those others. Oh, I've got one there. Two. 
Okay, cool. <coughs> Once I've um, done this, I will then work my way out and out the door. I've always liked a shiny tile in a bathroom. A lot of people go uh, a matte tile, but over here you have shiny tiles in your in your shopping centres. People are worried about the slip fact of it. Nah. Marble's been around for ages, years and years and years and years. And that's always shiny. I need some clips in. I would very much appreciate if you would sub subscribe to my channel and then you'll be notified when I put out another video I put them out every three days The idea of that is my goal is to teach more and more people more people the better it's time I passed on what I've learned Bit of water off the tile. Row in a clip or two. Absolute beautiful.
I reckon a, um, a shiny tile is always easier to clean and everything. I need a bucket of water. Yes, so we're out of the shower now. And we're doing the main floor. So bear with me and watch what I do. I got tangled up in the lead there a bit. <laughs> It is easier for a DIY to screed the floor first to get the falls and that sort of thing. But with large format tiles, when you're out of the shower, you lay your floor uh, level and flat. I haven't glued these down yet. I will in a minute once I put these in. I love this former lane. the vanity that's going here it's up off the up off the floor vanity there's the pipe so there's no pipe coming out of the floor that's a, a cool idea as well I reckon Nicely tapped into place. If you see any little holes that could use a bit, you just pop it in, give it a bit of a sprinkle over.
Beautiful. <coughs> A bathroom like this laid properly lasts a hundred years plus or more I used to lay like this without years ago without uh, clips. It was all done by feel, just like that. You get it perfect. This is easy. No brainer. And just repeat the process. Cut that piece in tomorrow. 
when I've got my cutter closer. Nice one, tell your mum. tap down <clears throat> nice no it's the same process all the time same process Give it a bit of a sprinkle. Fill in the low spots. I put out um, a video every three days subscribe to my channel and you'll keep up with with me doing bathrooms it's the way to learn you look at different scenarios different bathrooms different it's the same principle all the time But you can't just learn in five minutes. It's going to turn out to be a very, very nice bathroom. Very, very nice. But yeah, it's uh, oh, I've never been able to pick up anything the, the first go. But uh, if you keep watching, you'll start to get the hang of it.
see that? I like it a lot. That's lovely. Beautiful. But it does take a little bit of practice. But this is uh, why I'm showing everyone this is uh, the correct way to, to toil. I'm sort of getting, uh, uh, <laughs> it's all getting a little bit cramped now, so I'm going to have to move stuff. <laughs> 